Hello and welcome to part six of these nice vibrations tutorials. And this is also going to be the last part, uh, at least as far as the 3.0.1 is concerned. So uh, I'm in Unity right now and in the state we left the project the last time. And today I'm going to focus on showing you some platform specific instructions and, and methods as well as how you can use nice vibrations if you also own um, MM feedbacks. So until now, we've only seen ways to target the vibration manager. So uh, you know, all the classes, all the methods we've created uh, all go through the vibration manager. And that's good because that's supposed to be one of the strong points of nice vibrations and it lets you target methods all at once. So you, with only one line, you're going to target iOS, Android, and gamepads. But let's say that for some reason, uh, you want to target only gamepad, or you want to target only iOS. Well, um, nice vibrations also get you covered. And if you go into common here and script, you'll find dedicated methods for all of these. So for example, if you go to rumble and scripts, you'll find the MMNV rumble class. And this one lets you trigger a specific vibration only on gamepads. So let's create a new method, test rumble, mmnv rumble dot rumble, for example. But you can see that we also have rumble continuous and stop rumble and other methods. Uh, but let's call this one and I'm going to say 0 0.5. So uh, medium, low frequency, high high frequency. Uh, I want to rumble for two seconds and I want to use this as my coroutine support. And if I were to call this method, and actually uh, we can do that. So let's create a new button and call this the rumble button and rumble and select the right method for it. So test rumble. If I press play and hold my gamepad next to the mic, we get a nice two seconds vibration. So uh, there are methods that you can use to also trigger just Android. That would be via the MMNV Android app. And for iOS, we've got two classes, MMNV iOS, uh, which will work from iOS 10 to iOS 13 and, and after. Um, there's no limit, but it's quite simple and quite limited. And if you want to use the full support uh, and the full force of the Core Haptics interface on iOS, you want to use MMNV iOS Core Haptics. This only works uh, with iOS 13 and more. The last thing I would like to show you is how you can use Nice Vibrations along with MM Feedbacks, uh, which is my library to trigger reactions and work on better micro interactions. So I've imported MM feedbacks and MM feedbacks for third party in the project. And uh, the last one contains a MM feedback haptics, which ties in with knife vibrations. So I'm going to create a new object to test that called test feedbacks. And I'm going to add an MM feedbacks component to it. And I'm also going to create a new button. I'm going to duplicate that one to do so. Move it over there, maybe. Make it smaller. I've run out of space and it's it's not a pretty sight, this menu. Um, and I'm going to call it feedback button. Like so. And I'm going to drag my test feedback here and select the play feedbacks method. So every time I press on that button, it's going to play all the feedbacks set up in this MM feedbacks. So I'm going to create a haptics one and I'm going to create a position one. So what I want is every time I click on feedback, it, it moves the button a bit. I'm going to do that along a curve and on the X axis. And I'm going to say I multiply the curve by 10. So it's very visible. Um, and in haptics, I'm going to make sure I have 
allow rumble checked. This will let my gamepad rumble. If I uncheck it, of course, it's only iOS or Android. And here I can select the haptic method. So if you've been watching the other tutorials, this should be familiar. You have the net native presets, transient, so one-time haptic, continuous, advanced pattern using Ahab and waveform assets. And we can also stop any playing haptic. Uh, I'm gonna stick to native presets for now and say I want a failure uh, haptic to play. So now if I press play, and click on feedback. I get both the vibration and the movement. I could also uh, change that to have a transient, and in which case I would be able to specify the intensity and sharpness. Uh, same for continuous, and I can also use curves. So I could have something like this, for example. And if I were to press play, I play that along that curve and it's a bit different. So you can play with that. Uh, you can also have an advanced pattern, in which case you will get options to specify your AHAP waveform or rumble waveform files. You can also decide how many times you want it to repeat. Minus one is doesn't repeat, zero is infinite, and then one, two, three, four repeats one, two, three, four times, up to as much as you want. You can specify a fallback and uh, the time scale you want that to run on. I would recommend using unscaled to avoid getting stuck in uh, the void. And then you've got the stop method, which as you can guess, just stops any running feedback. And that's it. That's how you use MM feedbacks along with Nice Vibrations. And this covers all the features of Nice Vibrations 3.0. Uh, remember that there's a full documentation right here uh, that you can use. And there's also a full API documentation uh, in which you can look at uh, the list of classes. And if you have questions about, uh, I don't know, uh, Rumble, waveforms, uh, you can click on that and you can learn more about what they are and uh, how you can access them. It covers everything there is to know. So yeah, don't hesitate to check it out. If you've got questions, uh, you can always drop me a line on the support form or on Discord or wherever you want. I hope you learned something new today and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.